kae o na na ikala kala be kale hua e kale le hua no kano e e ka no i anu mai aloha e aloha e aloha e ya ku yo ko ka ko alo ke a ku yo ko ka ko Alo ke a kua i o ko o kāko Alo ke a kua i o ko o kāko Everybody put your hands together That was wonderful Santa Hawaiian Surf Club helping us out Well it's clear to me that uh, Tom Mori had a massive impact on a lot of people Just based on the crowd that we have here Look at this, we're so blessed to have his family here we're so thankful for that as well. And for all of you who have a connection to Tom and Marsha and their family through surfing, bodyboarding, just the ocean, maybe just through music, because Tom had his hands in a lot of pies, right? He was a super talented surfer, obviously invented the boogie. That's what Tom called it. He was a masterful jazz drummer and really a visionary in my eyes and his invention of the boogie it had a big impact on me personally as you can imagine a lot of us skipped school we missed appointments <laughs> we were late for work some of us even maybe lost relationships because of our obsession with riding waves in my case i lost a relationship as a young man and gained a relationship as an older young man with Vicky because of my love for the boogie. And I think a lot of us here are on that same boat. We met people, some of the people that are friends and acquaintances for our entire lives as a result of that invention. I don't think Tom really thought at the beginning that this would have such a big impact on the world. It's not just our group here, there's been paddle outs in Australia and New Zealand already because it's already Sunday over there. Today's International Bodyboarding Day. And we're so blessed that all of you showed up here at T Street to participate in this and to celebrate Tom's legacy. I know for me, 42 years of riding the boogie, bodyboards, has been an obsession of mine. It's been a blessing to me. It, everything I have, and I suspect a lot of you, almost everything that you have is a result of our love for riding waves in the ocean, and Tom gave us the vehicle to do that. Um, folks, it, it's just been super awesome uh, setting this up. I think Vicki and I initially just thought it would be a small thing, but then it grew and grew, and all of you are here. We have hundreds of people. I don't know how many. I'm not good at counting big groups, um, but we... Uh, we're just so thank you thank so much, Jay, Vicky. I mean, this is the question that you you ask yourself: Who was this fellow? You know, behind us, within us, and uh, he brought so many people together. I was born in a situation where the boogie had just come about on the sharp shores of Ali'i Drive, where today they're going to be celebrating and erecting a an info board, if you will. It really doesn't just recognize body boarding or boogie, as it was called the boogie, and I'm glad you, you pointed that out. It was it's um it's pipo boarding, it's belly boarding, it's you in the ocean with the surface. And the story, I mean, is is amazing in itself. But dad saw Stoke. He saw that this surf realm that he already enjoyed. It, it takes a lot to go out and get a surfboard, even without the leashes. And I've met some of these great um, friends of Tom here from the 50s before the boogie came about that were really influenced by his outward look on life. And uh, the ocean here behind us is something that connects all of us. And I'm just so blessed to see that you're all here in celebration of that very one thing the love of the ocean. And Tom Mori, a young man, till his eight, later days, is always looking for another fix on how to enjoy life. And uh, he certainly did it through the boogie.
in a very shallow, sharp situation, but he knew there was something there. And uh, the masses of the people, they gravitated to it because it was soft. It was all about fun. And we don't want to take that fun out of nothing to do with boogie boarding. It just is all about you in the ocean, you challenging yourself in every which way. You're not challenging anybody because you know there's always somebody better in Kauai on the other side of the island that has no access to any of our stuff. So I mean, really go out there and you know, um, some of you have watched Tom change his name because of some aspects of how other co corporations were using it. He's like, well, I'll just get rid of more. And you, and you ask why? And he'd say, why not? But that's just a little bit of Tom, you know, we are uh, very blessed as a family to have you here. This means a lot to um, the world over of global ocean traditions. And I hope to see us together another year from now and another celebrating, like some people say, he's the Ben Franklin of surf because I mean, ben, ben Franklin, yeah, he had this kite. He got shocked. But do we not know what he's done since then? We, we, we studied a little bit. Tom has still yet a lot to give us in his memoirs and all of his, his uh, expressions. Well, let's go out and have a nice expression session today for Tom. Thank you so much, Jay. Thank you. I mean, this is the question that you, you ask yourself, who was this fellow? You know, behind us, within us, and uh, he brought so many people together. I was born in a situation where the boogie had just come about on the sharp shores of Ali'i Drive, where today they're going to be celebrating and erecting a, an info board, if you will, that really doesn't just recognize body boarding or boogie, as it was called the boogie, and I'm glad you, you pointed out it was, it's, um, it's pipo boarding. It's belly boarding, it's you in the ocean with the surface. And the story, I mean, is, is amazing in itself, but dad saw Stoke. He saw that this surf realm that he already enjoyed, it, it takes a lot to go out and get a surfboard, even without the leashes. And I've met some of these great um, friends of Tom here from the 50s before the boogie came about that were really influenced by his outward look on life and uh, the ocean here behind us is something that connects all of us and I'm just so blessed to see that you're all here in celebration of that very one thing the love of the ocean and Tom Mori a young man till his eight later days is always looking for another fix on how to enjoy life <laughs> And uh, he certainly did it through the boogie in a very shallow, sharp situation, but he knew there was something there. And uh, the masses of the people, they gravitated to it because it was soft. It was all about fun. And we don't want to take that fun out of nothing to do with boogie boarding. It just is all about you in the ocean, you challenging yourself in every which way. You're not challenging anybody because you know there's always somebody better in Kauai on the other side of the island that has no access to any of our stuff. So I mean, really go out there and you know, um, some of you have watched Tom change his name because of some aspects of how other co corporations were using it. He's like, well, I'll just get rid of more. And you, and you ask why? And he'd say, why not? But that's just a little bit of Tom, you know, we are uh, very blessed as a family to have you here. This means a lot to um, the world over of global ocean traditions. And I hope to see us together another year from now and another celebrating, like some people say, he's the Ben Franklin of surf because I mean, ben, ben Franklin, yeah, he had this kite. He got shocked. But do we not know what he's done since then? We, we, we studied a little bit. Tom has still yet a lot to give us in his memoirs and all of his, his uh, expressions. Well, let's go out and have a nice expression session today for Tom. As I look around, I see my family, our family. Individual faces I notice that I've spent a little more time with 
with Tom and with our sons, their friends, and the reality that we are really sky people. We belong to the ether, and we get to spend a very short time here. Unfortunately, most of us, it takes us a long time to learn the basics. And the basics are loving one another, that we are a world family. And we may have a few aliens here too, and we welcome them. You know, Tom was always into aerospace and to UFOs and to the sciences that some call hocus pocus. But we know that this world, it gives us sight, insight into the next world. And when we pass, we never die. We just pass through. We are physical beings now, but for eternity, we are spiritual beings. And in this world, we are given a chance to develop those which we tend to turn away from. You know, to love thy neighbor, to see the world as one family. There's only one God. There's not a bunch of them. But God has come in sickly. But the reality, 
he was a, a multi-faceted genius. Yeah. Yeah. Dad loved looking for it. He loved helping people. He loved reading so that people would just get in the water and enjoy themselves. Um, we may have lost Tom as a father, but we have, because of him, uh, made all of all of all of you people good family. That's all I've got to say. A boogie and send him to the sea. Initiate the lad into the moving wall fraternity. Buy your gal a boogie and send her on her way. From Makapu and Rincon to Yokohama Bay. Cause when you're high in the crook of a hot little hook, salt spray, singeing you know, you know, you know you ought to be home. Perhaps with your nose to the grindstone, but instead you're here where the trade winds blow. Buy your mom a boogie and send her on her way. Cut her from the kitchen. The waves are really great today. Teach your kids to read and write and let them surf all day. Learning how to surf through life is learning that will pay. And we're still going. Cause when you're high in the crook of a hot little hook, salt spray singeing your nose, you know you ought to be home, perhaps with your nose to the grindstone, but you're here where the trade winds blow. Send her out to play. Cut her from the kitchen. The waves are really great today. Teach your kids to read and write and let them surf all day. Learning how to surf through life is learning that will pay. Special request. This is for you, Marsha. I, I, I've been told you like this song, so Sing along we're gonna do this one if you know it. So let's rip into this, Tom. Let's do it. Do yeah. that two bars. You've got to give a little, take a little, let your part. That's the glory of love. You gotta laugh a little, cry a little, before the clouds roll by a little. That's the story of, that's the glory of love. As long as there's the two of us, we've got the world and charms and when the world is through with us we've got each other's arms you got to win a little lose a little and always have the blues a 
it all. That's the story of, that's the glory of love. You got to give a little, take a little, let your poor heart break a little. That's the story of, that's the glory of love. You got to laugh a little, cry a little, before the clouds roll by a little. That's the story of, that's the glory of love. As long as there's the two of us, we've got the world and all its charms. And when the world is through with us, we've got each other's arms. You got to win a little, lose just a little, and always have the blues a little. That's the story of, that's the glory of love. That's the story of, that's the glory of, that's the story of, that's the glory of, that's the story of, that's the glory of love. Thank you. Okay, we all know why we're here, Tom Mori. <laughs> we're all here because we're all part of Tom's tribe. Tom affected all of our lives one way or another. Tom affected a lot of people's lives. He's, he's got the number one selling surf vehicle in the world. And uh, he's impacted millions and millions of people. Introduce them to the ocean lifestyle around the world. Hey, can I get an amen? Amen! But anyone who knew Tom <laughs> might compare him to an angel. Very spiritual, very intelligent, and full of love. The golden rule says, in everything, do to others what you would have them do to you. Tom was very spiritual. He promoted his Baha'i faith throughout his whole life. The first body boards had his Baha'i faith era year on them. Tom wanted to make the world a better place. And he believed it was everyone's mission on this earth to do the same. And Tom wanted to have fun. Tom's the, the, the logo for the bodyboard was for the fun of it. Whether Tom was playing boogie woogie jazz or boogie woogieing in the surf, he was always looking for a good time. He was a man who loved to laugh, 
and almost always had a smile on his face. Tom loved love and Tom hated hate. I would like to challenge all of us to live like Tom. Ooh, I second that. Have fun, push the limits in everything, make this world a better place, and live aloha. Yeah. <laughs> if we as Tom's boogie children spread the aloha spirit to everyone in our world, I believe Tom will be laughing in delight for eternity. Thank you. by forgiving and lending a helping hand to those in need or not and be an excellent, loving, supportive person. Try as hard as you can for the rest of your life. Oh boy, uh oh. Oh boy. Oh, 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 oh boy. O